first chapter of physics that is force and pressure in school examination this chapter is going to play an important role so let's start with this chapter and understand the concept of force and pressure now the first and foremost question that arises in our mind while studying this topic that is force is that what basically force is and how we can understand the concept of force now to understand the concept of simple force we can say or we can understand this with the help of a simple example in which a block is kept on a surface let us suppose we are having a block and that block is kept on a surface and we wish to move that block in either of the direction this is the example you can see on your screen that we are having a block and a man is trying to push this block in somehow right hand side direction that means he want to move this block in this direction this is the direction of motion of an object now for this purpose for moving the block in right hand side direction he would have to apply some force or we can say he would have to make some effort to move this block so in this case we can say that we are having an effort that is made on the block in the form of push effort in the form of push that means if a body is being pushed or an effort is made from back side in the forward direction the block is going to start move in the further direction that means one effort is push now there is another method of moving a block in a certain direction or in the same direction let us suppose we can take this example in this case in which a boy is pushing or we can say a boy is pulling an object let us see in this case that this block is being pulled away by this man over here now the difference between the two is that in the first case the boy is pushing the object and in the second case that the effort being made on the object is in the form of pulling so we can simply say in the second part that effort made on the object is in the form of is in the form of pull is in the form of pull so basically we are going to have only two methods with the help of which we can move the block or the object in the first one we have seen that it was a pushing force and then in the second one we have seen that it was the pulling force with the help of which a boy would have been able to move the block in a certain direction now from these two observations we can give the definition of force or the concept of force we can simply say that force can be defined as or force is an effort made on any object it can be defined as an effort made on any object on any object in the form of push or pull in the form of push or pull you would have seen many examples for example if you are you would have been visited some well or in village you would have seen that a bucket is being put into the well and by pulling the rope we are able to bring out the water bucket outside the well so that is an example of pulling force in the mall wherever we go we are just going to take the bucket and we push that bucket the wheel bucket with the help of a pushing force for example these are the examples with the help of which we can say that a force can be defined as a push or a pull on any object moving further we are going to say that force is a physical quantity which is going to have both magnitude and we can say direction so we can say that force can be defined as a vector quantity force 
is a vector quantity force is a vector quantity having both magnitude both magnitude and direction force cannot be defined with the help of only magnitude it should be having a direction for moving a block you should be knowing the direction in which the block is to be moved only magnitude is not going to help magnitude is the numerical value that we are having in a particular physical quantity so this is very much important that magnitude should be there and direction should be there now moving further we are going to discuss another topic that is unit that what is the unit of force every physical quantity is having some unit for example length is going to be having the unit that is of meters in your smaller classes you would have already studied the chapter units in which we are going to define what basically unit is now to understand further this chapter this topic force it is going to have be having unit that is newtons newton is the unit of force and it is basically the SI unit of force this is going to be SI unit of force we are having another unit that is known as dynes so dyne is basically another unit that is CGS unit CGS unit of force this is CGS unit of force there is a relation between the SI unit and CGS unit you would have studied in your previous classes that one meter is equals to 100 centimeter similarly we are having a relation between Newton and dynes also we can say that one Newton is equals to 10 raised to the power 5 dynes so this is the relation if it is asked in exam you should be knowing the relation between the two SI unit and the CGS unit so this can be defined as relation between SI and CGS unit of force between SI and CGS unit of force 